What is going on guys and welcome back to the Versatorix Gaming Channel. Today we are back in Expeditions Rome, carrying on from last time out where we took down the warehouse. We are moving now across to uh, this place over here. I'm not really sure what it's called. We're heading off over here and we're going to basically continue the mission by infiltrating Mytilene. Mytilene? I believe that's how it's spelled. So, Mytilene is the only real city on Lesbos. In recent years, it has harbored many pirate ships, much to Rome's, much to Rome's dismay. Let's enter. So, we have the five characters that we need to bring. We have, in fact, we will go to party management. We have adjusted them slightly. So, we've added the assassin's garb onto us. It reduces our health by uh, one. So, we're down to 14 health rather than 15 over the the chain metal that we were wearing before but it gives us that extra movement speed and a little bit more resistance which i think will come in a little bit more handy which means that our old armor has now gone on to uh Cineros, his uh, toga although it was more fire resistant it reduced his health bludgeoning resistant i'm not too bothered about the fact that it increases his uh his health and his resistances across the board. I am uh, I am very happy with that, so we'll keep that. Everyone else is the same. No differences on anyone else. So let's get into the quest log. These are the five characters we need. And we shall see how we get on. We're gonna survey the battle and see if uh, we can we can do it do it first time. You know what I mean? Like we had a problem in next time where we didn't do the first mission. I think it was first or second mission. We didn't do that first time. That was a little bit disappointing, but we did the next mission, all right. Which you'll have seen already by now. So. We made it here unnoticed. So far, so good. Now we just need to get through that gate with the Greek fire. Just one guard. Let's you and I go up there and deal with him, Premier. As you command. I will keep my head on a swivel. Right, so we need to climb the wall, so we need to come up here, don't we? That looks like the perfect position. Let's get up there. And I look uh, very different with my uh, my assassin's garb on, don't I? I don't look quite as, uh, as good as I was expecting, to be honest. So we're going to go up and try and kill him. I'm taking him. Get ready. And down they go. Good. The ships are moored quite close to each other. Fire will spread easily. What are our problems? This part of the docks appears to be infrequently patrolled. Getting to the ships shouldn't be a problem. Let's signal to the others to move the Greek fire crate as close as they can to the galleys. At once, Primo. Let's go. I guess we have a couple of different options for how to get this party started. Okay. We could lob a pot of Greek fire onto the deck of that nearest galley from the pier below. That would give us a head start on our main objective. Or those three guards look half asleep. I'm sure we could take them out the same way I handled this guy here. That means less enemies to fight. I mean... Technically, eliminating a few guards with the element of surprise would be a good idea. In the fact, there's only two of us and three of them. Mm. Or we throw stuff and get one galley down straight away. Let's go with the element of surprise. I can see the merit of both plans. Let's regroup with the others and then decide. Well, I thought I just decided. Perhaps not. Okay, so we need to get up here. Look at the fact. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, okay, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are we ready? We are. There's quite a few How guards here. How do you want here. to do this?
Let's... If we take out the one galley, that means we can then fight everyone together, but we've only got to worry about getting to one galley. So... Uh, I know I said I wanted to take out the guards first and then fight our way there, but I think, actually, let's... Give Announcing ourselves a our head presence part. by setting fire to a galley. That is good showmanship. I think that's a better way to do it. I think we're throwing away our advantage if we do that. We can thin out the guards a little before they know we're here. Oh. Both plans seem hideously dangerous to me. We are surrounded deep behind enemy lines. That said, I have no preference. Not really. So killing the killing the guards would reduce their number from eleven down to well from eleven that we know of down to eight. But if we burn the one ship, that's one down. But then we're fighting eleven between the five of us. And I believe that on this game, just like on XCOM, the AI is really intelligent, even at normal difficulty. We burn the ship. Very good. Stay here. I have the best thrown up. That's... I think that's the best idea. By burning the one ship first, it means we only have to focus on getting to the other ship. One ship down. Romans are within the city walls. That's one ship down straight away. We have away. successfully woken up all of Matilda. We need to burn those ships quickly, or this whole operation will have been for nothing. Hey, wake up! The Romans have come. Based on how close the ships are, so, I believe if we set just two galleys of flame, no one can stop the fire spreading. Yes, we have Aim to get two each ship near the galleys. Mouth. If the sails catch fire, that'll do the job. Um, Bestia, I'm actually... Oh, Bestia is not in the best position. We need to get a flame onto that. Now, I have the best movement, but can I get there before I get caught? One, two, three on... Two on the boat, one protecting down there. And then Bestia has... Bestia will be being attacked by three different people. Maybe he can distract three there, but if he get there's an archer here, that's the bit I'm worried about. And then down here, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five. So if I can group them fighting. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, I think Bestia has to regroup. We're going to move him. We're going to swap these two. I wonder if I can go round the back. I wonder if I can go around this way and try and take down these two. Maybe let them two serve as a distraction. And... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to play it by ear. We're going to play it by ear. So, I can't actually... Oh, I can't go back this way. That's unfortunate. Okay. So, we're going to... I wonder if we can try funneling them. If we go into race. We go here with him. Bring her over here. And put her into Them closer. That's it. I'll shoot as soon as I see them. 
And then... I'm gonna bring him into guard here. In terms of Bestia... I think we need to try and take out this one and get back out. He's got... He's got 15. We're gonna we're gonna attempt to shiv him, and then we're gonna do. A quick melee attack at half damage, which does not. Okay, and then we're gonna do that. Hopefully we can get a crit here. No, no good. Okay, that's not great. Okay, so... We have Greek Fire on our Assassin. I think that's the best we can do so far. Okay, so he is definitely going to come in and try and fight. Arrow into his back. Now these two have got a couple of Okay, he's killed him. He's been hit, so he's down three health. We've got the hot light coming in, but not quite close enough. Another hot light coming in, but not quite close enough. Another pawn and another pawn coming in. Come on, no wind to quit. critical. That's nice. That is really good. So we can keep just edging up. And uh, we have got to remember that they've got reinforcements on the way. Now, Bestia can hold them on the ship. So many of them. Bestia can hold them on the ship. Please don't come behind me. Oh, there's a lot more there than I thought. Them two are hiding. Okay, so how much is the fire moving? The fire is definitely spreading. He's dead. He's going to hurt me. If I hit him. If I hit him, he's gonna prop a prop me up. And we'll use this. But I'm gonna get hit if I move here. I think Bestie's in trouble no matter what happens here. If I move, I can get... I'm gonna get hurt, but I can get down there. Damn, he's a four. That took six damage. Okay. Let's go into combat with... this one. down him. Actually, that... Oh, action restored. Okay, and then we shoot down... him. Right, then we got me. He's got eight movement. Best is in trouble no matter what happens here. Because A doesn't restore HP. No. Okay. Bestia might be in trouble here. Oh, now he's definitely in trouble. The, ar the arch is down. Their archers down, so if I can move up here, I might be able to get away and get close enough that, uh, I mean, they can always bring that archer back up, but that fire is spreading. I'm not too worried about the ones being on the floor.
Where do I have an unspent power on him? Oh, I can't get up there. I reckon he can take both of these two. It's too much. It's too much. He's gonna fire at the assassin. Yeah, fire at me. Four damage. Not good. Coming down, they're coming in. Now I gotta I gotta remember he's on his way. Why is he coming up onto the burning ship? Form up, we'll face them together. Okay, so they're off the ship now. So I'm thinking we need to move fast enough that the ones that are coming up behind don't get to us. So, I'm going to come up here. We're gonna, what is these, eight? If we apply Savage to sell. We can then slash. You're a dangerous man. And that does not kill him. But you have got to get out of there. You've got to get to there. Which completely negates your turn. Which I'm not too bothered about. You go to that and go. Soothe pain. Take care of me, and I shall slay many of your foes. Does this hurt? Good, that means you're fine. I'm going to shoot him, get back an extra turn. And I'm going to apply... Ploys or whistles of burn status. To him. And he's burning. Nothing. Action points are all spent apart from him. He's going to brace. Now I don't know how far it, they're going to take to get to me. Okay, I need to be careful with that one. The enemy reinforcements are on their way now. need to move now. These are coming up behind. We need to move now. The Romans need to be taught a lesson. Let us begin. We're gonna slash him. We're gonna heal him. No permanent damage. Gonna go for a double kill here. Just gonna shoot him. Kill. And then... Wait. I don't get a second attack? Oh, that's bad. Okay. He's gonna have to come into here. Two to three health. Six. Kill him. He's then got an action restored. That's a risk. But we have to move. So he can come up here. And he's gonna do three shield damage. There's the shield damage. He's gonna come in. I don't think I can hit him from here. No. Um. Oh, that's not a place I wanted him. So I'm gonna have to move him to there. If I move here, I lose that. 
action point. But it keeps him trapped in a little bit more. And also gets us moving. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I could be dead here. I've made a mistake. Okay, we're gonna have to kill this. We're gonna have to kill this uh, this uh, gym knight, this uh, assassin type player behind us. We need to get on that archer. And if we can take out them two, we'll be alright. The gym knights aren't too bad. And there's another assassin there, look, coming in. We're gonna get surrounded at this rate. So, we're going to. So, give him. That will give me the chance to go cheap shot. And. Where did you learn to fight like that? Okay, that's him dead. Right, we need him to come in. There. That. Let's move him to there. I mean, he's not going to be able to go there. I'll go here. Um, heal him up. Does this hurt? Good. That Place him in front of him. Place him there. The archer in. The archer has to take down their archer. Bring her up here. Flaming arrow into him. Oh, was that as painful as it looked? Now we just gotta hope we don't lose our archer here. We can win just based off our archer. Hey, whose Wait, side what? are you on? Did you just go panicked? But he's gonna fire on the archer, which didn't actually take as much damage as I was expecting. Right, this gym knight here, he's gonna come in to... We have to get the assassin in position. At, like... Okay, so... Sort of crowding in on us now. We have no choice but... He's gonna die to burn. Let's cripple... him. Or crit shot him. That that's an option as well. Move out the way here. You're gonna go there. In which case you're going to slash him. You need to heal him. Keep him alive. Bastia. No permanent damage. It's going to go across here. The reason Bastia's across here is. So he can kill this one. By killing this one, it allows us to shiv, cut him, and then go with a double combo on him. This is all too easy. Which is superb. Which means I can then move him up to there. And he can move into here. She can move to there. That protects them. And I've got to hope now that, yeah, this should be this should be relatively easy for me. He should die to burn relatively soon. Yeah, this uh, from this point it looks like I can't lose from here. I don't think he's panicked, so that that worked out perfectly. Him being panicked, and spent action points. Ah, bestia and. The thing is, I can't get there because it's going to cost me points. So we're going to have to just go with it. Although, moving Bestia out of the range of fire at that one might not be the worst idea. Move him into there. That protects us a little bit more. Oh, I think I died. So now they're having to chase us. Which is, I'm hoping, going to be good for us. If we've got to try and get out after doing this, we're going to be in trouble. 
Okay, so there's two more in from four. So this ship is now, yeah, this ship is now fully going forward. Right, so. If Bestia goes up. Bestia goes up to there. Bestia takes out this one. That's the end of him. If I move him across here. Right, I need to make sure there's no one coming off this ship. It does not look like it. We need to move her up to here. Move him behind her. And give healing to her. Help your brother at arms! And then he's you gonna come in. Fine. Get back into the fight. And basically just go strong like that. She's gonna go interrupt and anyone that walks in this vicinity she's gonna take down. I'm covering this area. That would leave just me left. Now I can actually expend a point here to get up closer to the ship. Can't quite throw it on. We're closer. They are gonna have one more turn. coming up behind though so we have got to keep that in account but I think we get next turn we win this for sure I don't see how we lose it in the next turn we played this incredibly well maybe not perfect but we played it well enough and throw that into there that's done it there's no saving these galleys now so we've done the victory conditions that means we win it I think we played that very well. We don't, like, my, my strategy skills are not the best in terms of these sort of games, but I think we played that one very well. Or at least that point of it very well. <laughs> I call this a success. Even the harbour itself is a flame. Good work. Time to join Thermos. Let's move out or they will retain all the glory. Let us be the conquerors of Metilene. So our job now is to rendezvous with the Thermos Legion. So did it not take us out of here? Did it not take us out of here? Let's have a look at the if we got a map. We got anything to tell us where we're going. Anything to tell us where we're supposed to be going? I assume we're supposed to be like. We're not going up there, so. Let's see if there's anything. We can grab hold of. Like a chest, for example. I assume we've got to leave. That's what I'm going to assume. Ooh! Very nice. Very cool. All items collected. Sweet. There's something down there as well. Boots up. We'll take that. I think that's everything. I don't see anything else flashing up. No, let's... I think we have to leave. Yeah, we have to leave. I found it! <laughs> oh dear, there it was. We found it. We are leaving the harbour. We did our job. Did it rather well. Party management, what's going on here? Inventory. Shield. I don't use a shield. What's this shield like? Two shield, one critical, two five base. Better in every aspect. Committed blockade. 50% shield strength maximum. The character shield strength will also be restored by the same amount that's gained. 
Okay. Intimidate. Point to an enemy up to act. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Intimidate. That's brilliant. I didn't even realise it did that. Right. Three to five. Three to five. If he's got if he's got one of these shields now, he should have, he should technically have that. He shouldn't. And then if we swap the weapon, we'll give him slash aid. I actually want to try this uh, this this intimidate at some point. But yeah, we'll we'll stick with this. I don't think it really matters between the gladius and this. Critical damage of two, critical damage of one. Okay, so this is better. Three to five pierce damage compared to two to five. Definitely gonna hit. Yeah, so I think this is probably the better way to go. With uh, bag of money. Right, let's get out of here. And finish the mission. Leave the area. So that was probably the strongest showing I've done so far in Expeditions Rome in three episodes we've had. In the next episode, we will be going to Coloni to meet up with the Thermos Legion. We will pro I think we've got a training thing or something on there. I'm not quite sure. I can't really remember from the last time I played it. Um, but yeah, we'll go there and we'll do the we'll do our bit and then uh, move on the actual garrison but that is going to end today's episode if you have enjoyed it please drop a like leave a comment down below let me know what you think did i make the right decision with the armors with the shield with the spear let me know and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and i will see you next time for another video have a good one guys